Greetings to you in the name of Jesus. It's been a privilege to come back to your house and to share what the Lord has. I was walking down the street and you know, seeing so many sick people. Some people are oppressed, some people cannot walk, they've lost the use of their feet, their legs, they're crippled, lost all hope. At a time like this, I was thinking as to what Jesus did, according to the book of Mark, chapter 2. There were four people who found a man who completely lost his use of walk. He could not walk anymore. Imagine the plight a man would go through or a woman would go through if they lose the possibility of being able to walk. They would not be able to do their basic things. They would not be able to run in an emergency. They would not be even able to provide for their needs. But there were four people who saw this particular thing. They were so moved with compassion and they knew Jesus of Nazareth was preaching in a house and that and they have heard that this Jesus of Nazareth had worked miracles miracles over miracles they heard that the lame walk the blind see and they even knew that the dead would come back come to life because Jesus was the power he himself in him was the power to heal. In him was the power to set people free. But something very interesting took place. When these four people saw this man, they decided to bring him to Jesus. It could have been a mere fact to test the power and the authority that they heard that this person, Jesus, possessed and had in himself. Nevertheless, they brought him to this house where Jesus was ministering. But this house was so full of people. People were full. There was not any space left. When they went close to the door, the door was full of people. Inside the hall, when they looked in, the hall was full of people. Every side they saw, the entire place was so full of Jesus. These four friends did not have a way to take this, their friend or this sick man who was lame, who could not walk, close to Jesus. But we see people, you know, who was close to Jesus were listening to what Jesus had to say. They knew, you know, he was the great I am, the great almighty God. The God who could heal, the God who could deliver, the God who could bring salvation to the people. But these four people could not take this man to Jesus. There were people so full. You see, sometimes the people who kept on hearing Jesus, the words of Jesus, these particular people knew that Jesus could heal. They could have probably seen instances where Jesus marvelously healed people. But at this particular moment of time, they see a man who could not walk. He's been helped by people, but they did not make room for this sick man to reach Jesus. Sometimes, we could be an obstacle for someone to reach out to Jesus, to reach out and touch Jesus or reach out to be touched by Jesus, to be healed. But this man was sick. He could not walk, but his four friends are getting together. They're coming up, they're devising a plan because they looked through the window and they could not find a space. They looked through the door, they could not take this man close to Jesus. Therefore, they decided to overcome the obstacles, to overcome the difficulties. I want to ask you, maybe you are listening to me, having so much of obstacles, having so much of problems, having so much of things not knowing how to handle. But maybe you have an obstacle to come to Jesus. Or maybe you have an obstacle 
to lead someone to Jesus. Listen to me. This particular people who brought this man to Jesus decided they need to summer other take him close to the master. They decided that this man who could not walk before would be able to walk for sure because Jesus had the creative power in him. In him was the power west. Therefore, this particular people had only one option to go over the roof to just take off the roof and some or other lay this man at the feet of Jesus. They knew it was the weight that they had to carry. Four people on the roof had to balance themselves. They had to know how to walk on the roof. But they did it all. They did it all. They went off the roof. They lifted this man right up. And also they found a way to bring this man close to the feet of Jesus. And imagine what happens. When these people just decided that this man needs to receive his miracle, they in their heart perceived nothing is going to stop them. Nothing is going to stop them. Maybe this man who, you know, who was sick would have told them, you know, my whole body is aching. Please don't do this to me. Please don't take me up the roof because I'm scared you may let me down. The people were an obstacle. The situation around was an obstacle. Everything that seemed to be an obstacle, these four people wanted to overcome. Therefore, they just went over the roof and laid him at the feet of Jesus. And Jesus is seeing, you know, something just came right in front of him. And he sees this lame man who could not be walked is helped by four friends. Jesus marveled as to their faith. They knew if they can go close to Jesus, that miracle would happen. And Jesus stretched forth and heals this man. This man who could not walk before started to walk all over and knew because in him is creative miracles. In Him and through Him is miracles unlimited. It was just four people's faith that brought healing to this one man. This day, I want to ask you, what is troubling you? What is troubling you? Is it you being unable to move that is troubling you? Is it a cancer that is troubling you? It is a sickness that is troubling you? Or is it a death that is troubling you? If you come to Jesus, He will make a way where there seems to be no way. Pathway in the wilderness He will make. He'll make water to flow in deserts. This day I want to pray with you. Could you please invite Jesus into your heart and say, Lord Jesus, please work a miracle. Where there seems to be no way, please work a miracle. Today, you can be forgiven. Your sins would be removed from you. You can be on your way to heaven. Let me pray with you. Dear Lord Jesus, we welcome you to come into these hearts, into these lives. Heal your people, Lord. Work a miracle where there seems to be no way. Pathway in the wilderness you will make, Lord. You'll make water to flow in deserts. Let there be healing, let there be restoration, and let there be a supernatural release of your presence. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. May God bless you. If you need further prayer, please feel to contact us. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day.